cheap foods for frugalists. Is money a problem? Do you need to save on your food budget? Living a frugal lifestyle can be so beneficial, especially when it comes to saving money. There might be a number of reasons why you consider a frugal lifestyle. It might be the reason that you want to save some money for a bigger move in the future, or you are transitioning into a frugal lifestyle because your budget has been tight due to a plethora of reasons. Whatever it might be, you still need food to survive. Of course, you cannot survive without eating, but you can manage your food on a budget. Because there are quite a lot of amazing foods out there that you can eat while keeping on a budget. There are a number of ways you make food without spending a lot. One way is growing a kitchen garden. You'll get the seeds in a few bucks, and then you can grow seasonal vegetables and herbs in your home. You don't need a lot of land for it. You can even grow them in pots if you don't have empty land available where you could grow your plants. In this way, you'll save a lot of money. Secondly, if you like eggs, then why not have some chickens if possible? Since eggs can be used in so many recipes, as well as you'll get the chicken to cook too every now and then. Anyways, eggs are not that expensive either. You can buy them from the grocery store if the idea of growing chickens in your home seems gross. Now let's dive into cheap foods for frugalists. Fruits. Fruits are great for your health and we all know that. So why not look for fruits that are available cheap in your market? It doesn't mean to eat rotten fruit, it means to eat fruit that is cheaper. One example is apples. Apples are great since they have vitamin C and many important nutrients. You can eat apples like a snack. You can even combine it with a protein source such as peanut butter. It tastes better and you get that protein too. Bananas and blueberries are a good option. Beans. Moving on to our next suggestion. Beans are so cheap and available easily. They have great nutritional importance. Beans are suggested by nutritionists to have in your diet every day. Chickpeas are considered the most quality plant source of protein. It has almost all essential amino acids except one needed for your body. They have important minerals like zinc, iron, and magnesium. Make hummus and enjoy it with some crackers. Beans are also available in tins, in case you're a busy person and don't want any mess. Chicken and eggs. Chicken and eggs are a great source of protein. Either you boil eggs or make an omelet. Mix with vegetables or bake. You have a variety of options. Chicken is cheap and easy to cook too. As we said before, you can raise chickens at your own home to save some more bucks. Breakfast ideas on a budget. We don't have breakfast time in our house. It's a do your own thing situation for all of us. Making waffles slash pancakes is very inexpensive. You can use milk if you have it, but you don't have to. If we're really strapped for cash, I'll make it with just flour, water, eggs, and baking powder. The kids prefer them with peanut butter or cinnamon sugar. Eggs are inexpensive and simple to prepare, whether fried, boiled, or jammed. You should make your own bread if you haven't already. We also buy flour in bulk and keep fresh bread on hand at all times. Biscuits are an excellent addition to any low-cost breakfast. You can serve them with meat, such as sausage, or simply slathered in butter. Lunch ideas on a budget. Pasta is inexpensive. It's not the healthiest option, but when you're broke, it doesn't always matter. Salad is basically free if you have a garden lettuce, spinach, cucumbers, peppers, and tomatoes. It's not always kid-friendly, but if you start them young or try deconstructing the salad and just serving piles of cut veggies with dip, they'll be fine. For a more filling salad, add cheese, apple, and hard-boiled egg. Dinner ideas on a budget. Pasta is the ultimate frugal meal, especially when paired with homegrown homemade sauce. Chili is a great frugal meal especially if you go heavy on the beans and light on the meat. If you use homegrown tomatoes, it will be even cheaper. Soup with vegetables. If you have a garden, this is practically free. Just throw in whatever vegetables you have growing water, tons of herbs, salt, pepper, maybe a handful of pasta or a can of beans, and you're good to go. If you're on a tight budget, skip the broth and instead flavor your water with herbs and spices. If you are not a vegetarian, you can stretch a roasted chicken or ham by adding the bones to the soup pot while it cooks to add flavor and nutrients. Soup with beans. Beans are the supreme stuffing and cost-effective component. 
They are also adaptable. Dry beans are less expensive than canned beans and much easier to cook with. Just remember to soak them ahead of time or use a pressure cooker to speed up the process. Tacos Cutting back on meat is an easy way to save money, but let's face it, some people, like my husband and kids, aren't cut out for the vegetarian lifestyle. We buy a lot of ground hamburger because it's usually cheaper. I make chili pasta and, of course, tacos with it. Rice Rice can be cooked in a variety of ways. You can eat it several times per week without missing a meal. Fried rice, Mexican rice, and garlic butter rice are some of our favorites. Plan your meals. One of the most effective ways to save money on groceries is to plan your meals. Without meal planning, you frequently end up buying foods that you know you like. The problem is that you end up buying more than you need for the week, and food goes to waste. When you plan your meals ahead of time, you can be aware of how many ingredients you'll need. Shopping with a grocery list, like meal planning, is essential for reducing food costs. You're more likely to grab whatever looks good at the time if you don't have a list. And if you're hungry, it's likely to be even worse. When you use a grocery list, you know exactly what you need and can only buy what you wrote down ahead of time. Have you found these foods on your budget? Let us know ASAP and give your opinions in the comments section.